It's intriguing. Oh, he said it. <laughs> Hello. Something incredible has happened. Oh, what is it? Here, take a look at this. They built a city. Oh no. The island is being urbanized. Here's the thing. When you got near that field of flowers, I picked up an incredibly strong energy reading. Also, okay. Its source seems to be moving too, if only slightly. Which suggests that we've what we've got here is an Aluma Pokemon? Mm -hmm. We can't be sure yet, but I suspect so. I wonder why it showed up. Did you do anything special? I pushed the X button a lot. I also doubt that it appeared when it did by chance. So I think you should be the one to investigate the area where that reading is coming from. What? Oh, I want to go see too. You can watch through the monitor with me, Rita. All right. <laughs> Please head out as soon as you're ready. Okay, we'll go back. I'm assuming we have to go at night again, right? Oh, oh, it's special. So is each area going to have its own Illuma spot then? Okay, so we're back in the meadow, it looks oh, like. That's definitely where the reading was coming from. Do you see or hear anything? I hear nature. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, is it, um, oh, what's the name of that Pokemon? That one. The one that looks like, um, that, that one. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Oh, look how beautiful it is. <laughs> Hi. Can I take your picture? That meganium's the aluminum Meganium. Pokemon. There Quick, we go. Get its picture. I'll be Meganium Paparazzi, that's fine. Turn around, Meganium. Meganium! Oh, it's eating the flower thing. <gasps> Look at that. <gasps> Look, it looks so happy. I'd like to get in front, please. It's sipping it. <gasps> Likes the smell. Mm -hmm. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. The tree's in the way of my picture. Meganium. Come back. Keep looking cute. Keep looking cute, yo. And off it goes. You did great, sweetie. The energy that was so reading cool. is gone too. Let's chat when we get back. Okay. I did it. I got an energy reading. Pokemon. So pretty. So Meganium. I was totally off. I was gonna say Bayleaf, but that's totally wrong. It's Meganium. I've got a lot to discuss, but first let's get to your photos. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. 38 photos of just Meganium. My goodness. You cannot select photos in the Illumina Phenomenon isn't shown. Okay. Okay, so there's one. That might be a, one of the best ones. Is this one. Let's see what else we got. Oh, that's it. Okay. That's the only ones it likes. Let's go with this then. Right, because it doesn't like. Oh. Oh, wait, no, there is more. I was very confused. Let's do this one. It's a nicer photo. It's got the, a better light thingy. Is that all the one and twos we have? 
No, we have three three stars. Where are they? Oh, it doesn't like them because because no lights. That's annoying. Okay, that was right. Okay, let's do it. Turn this thing in. Let's do this. Let's do this. Ooh, that's a good photo. A new discovery. Meganium. Now you don't see this every day. With a bit better timing, this would have a. Still got my two rhinestone stars. Interesting backgrounds make your shots even handier for our research. Okay. It's so pretty. I think I would lose my mind if I ever saw something like this for real. Oh, we're level two. Already. Look at that. Cool. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. I'd hope so. Best shot. You got a score of 5,000 points or more on a photo evaluation. Cool. Nice pose. You got a score of 1,000 more on the pose. Registered in the Loom Pokemon Mag Meganium. Magnium. Meganium. You received a research title, Gentle Warrior. You got a filter. Look at that. By the way... Now that we've got that Illumin Illumina po Pokemon info, I've got something to report. Okay. You're back. Yes, I am. Uh -huh. That was amazing, right? Wasn't it gorgeous? Wasn't it huge? And it was saying something? Rita. Huh? Easy there, Rita. Take a deep breath. Look who's talking. You are practically dancing, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. There's no doubt about it that Meganium was an Illumina Pokemon, just like in the Legends. Okay. Remind me what the Legends say about Illumina Pokemon again, Professor. Didn't they supposedly save Lentil from huge disaster a long time ago or something? Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. So the story goes, yes. Also, Illumina Pokemon were also said to have distinctive patterns and to glow with unusual light. <laughs> Sounds like our new friend. Right. Yes, to the letter. I'm convinced the events in those legends were really did happen, okay? And discovering the true history of this re region could be the key that opens up all of our research. Oh! Hang on, wasn't there one more important thing you were going to mention, Professor? That's alright, it's pretty late. Let's pick up the conversation from here tomorrow. Oh, But I'm having so much fun! Good morning! <laughs> what a short morning. evening. Good morning! Did you manage to get some sleep? No, none at all. Now, as Rita already told you, Here's the thing. I've been preparing to launch an ecological survey spanning the entire Lentil region, okay? And no sooner had you arrived than we suddenly found an Illumina Pokemon. <gasps> you think there's a connection, Professor? Yes, it's all about me. I can't be sure yet. I can't, it's all about me. But fascinating things are bound to happen if you come with us. Okay. Really? I mean, I'm having fun taking photos and stuff. Really? <laughs> well, you know, maybe. Jeez. For a scientist, you sure can be vague sometimes, Professor. But still, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> It'll be way more fun with you along. Right. Well, thank you. Well, there you have it. Ready to officially join our research team? <laughs> yes. I'll huh? be the research photographer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So subtle. Excellent. Well then, let's make it official. With a team badge. I got a badge! Oh, look how cute! I'm so girly! <laughs> yep, yep. Oh, they've all got one. I did not notice that. It's like you were born to wear it. Alright! Thanks. Well, what are we waiting for? Adventure awaits! Not to rain on your parade, Rita. But I need to get a couple more things ready first. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit longer, all right? I promise it'll be worth the wait. Right. I'll explain next time you're headed out to do some research. Okay. Now that you're a full-fledged team member, I have something for you that'll come in handy. 
Ooh! A not apple! As for the explanation, would you do the honors, Rita? Yeah. Yes, sir. Huh? But is it just me, or have you been getting me to do a lot more of the work lately, Professor? Plot twist, the professor wants to retire and she's gonna take over. Oh well, time to explain like the great assistant I am. So this is... This is a fluff fruit, also known as an apple, or a Pokemon fruit. They grow here in the lentil region. They're sweet and tasty and they make great snack for Pokemon. They may look just like regular apples, but they're way lighter and softer. <laughs> You'll probably make a Pokemon's day if you toss it one of these. All right. Let's get you some practice. Okay. Let me hear that. That's oh, Pikachu. You can throw a fluff fruit by pressing the B button. Yep. Okay. Press the B button. There you go. Fluff fruit. There. See, I came to get a bite. Who doesn't love a little snack? <gasps> the animation on this is amazing. Okay. Okay. Is there another Pokemon around that I can throw fruit at? Let's see. Oh, someone's grumpy. Hey, you. More physics into this, isn't there? If you want to throw fiber, aim a little bit higher. Okay. So there's more physics to the apples than there was in the old game, right? of course. Pretty easy, right? Pretty easy. I think that should be all you need to know. So I guess now we just wait until the professor gives us the green light to move on. <laughs> oh, I've got an idea. You should try testing out fluff fruit and taking some more photos in the meantime. Sounds good. The professor says there are all kinds of ways to use it. Wow. Finished explaining, I see. Thanks, Rita. I've got one more thing to tell you about for now. I thought it would be handy to have a quick way to share what we see and learn in the field. Are you too familiar with Len Talk? Oh. No. It rings a bell, I think. Yep, yep. It's a communicational tool folks here in Lentil use. Rita, let's say you notice something exciting in the field. You can send a photo and description over Len Talk. Mm -hmm. So it's texting. It's photo texting. I can use it to send things I notice on the monitor too. That sounds super fun. By the way. Look for Len Talk messages in the top right of the screen and the research camp and elsewhere. They ought to help. Okay, so they're like hints. So maybe there'll be fancy bonus Pokemon events. Okay, opening up the flowers. Some Florgans seem to gather natural powder from its surroundings, would you mind getting a photo of this striking behavior? Sure. Okay. So it's kind of like quests, it looks like. Oh, there's more. Okay. Shockingly well done. Have you seen which Pokemon is scorching these fruits? I'd like you to try and catch the culprit in the act if you wouldn't mind. Okay. A terrific yawn. I wonder what it looks like when Torterra yawns. Aren't you curious? Okay, and then Meganium's pal. When Meganium gets to this spot, it starts looking around kind of wrestling. I think it's looking for a friend. Lots to do. Let's see if we can do up livening up the flowers. Because that's a daytime one. Let's see if we can catch it. Hello. Hello. Let's see if we can also get Pichu and Groki to interact with these apples. Do, 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 do. Ooh! This. Come on, you two. Welcome back. I have fruit! Charge me. Okay, 
Okay, he doesn't want those. Hi. No fruit? Okay. Ooh. That's new. Splashes. There's a Molga again. Can we get your attention? Ooh, oh wow. You can really chuck these things, can't you? Shit. <laughs> Got it in the butt. Do something cool. Eat it. around if we hit magic carp does it do a thing what oh, oh. fruit grows in lentil tank growth love okay so how do I get it oh oh it oh That's not the greatest shot, but we got it. We'll have to do that again. Okay, if we're nearing what we came here for... There's another thingy there, though. Ooh, it's a different color! You see that? It's time. No, it's not time! Not yet! What you doing, gorgeous? Oh my goodness. Oh, she likes the fruit. Is that a bouffalant with flowers in its hair? That was interesting. Why has it got flowers in its hair? a lot to unpack there. Did you photograph a new Pokemon? I can't wait to see. I don't know, did I? Wormple? Wormple with apple? Let's do... Let's do this. This one's more center. Okay, Taylor, no. Ducklet. <laughs> I like the faces. Look at them. They're like, what the heck is this dude doing? What the heck? What the hey? I'm curious to see what he says, if he likes it or not. Okay. What have we got here? I like it picking it up, but it's off-center. Like, noticeably off-center. So I don't necessarily want to do that. But at least we know the behavior exists. This looks bigger. Let's do this one. Bunch of kerp, kerp, kerp. Oh, it didn't count the one I wanted it to count. Oh, well. subject. Yeah, that's just fruit. That's just fruit. Okay. Show the professor. Yes. Let's see what he has to say. Move along. Ooh, it's a three star. That's new. Nice work. <laughs> Looks like it's been bopped by something. Nice work. Keep it up. It's bopped by me. That wasn't the point of the photo. The point was the flower crown. 
I got us three gold stars though. The direction was crap, but the placement and the size and I guess the pose made up for it. And the fact that it's pretty much dead center. Okay. I hate it. I'm probably gonna take it again, but okay. So he likes that. Wow, 2,000 on the size. Look at that. Placement dead center. Direction is half because it's got its back, but it's a nice photo of it. That got us a rhinestone star. We'll keep that one. It's fine. Do, do, do. Wormple. Two star. That's new. See, it's having a nice meal. Perfect timing. Okay, two silvers. I'd have to agree. The size is pretty small. Ducklet. What a charm. Nice work. Seems to be okay, so I just counted as swimming. Alright, I will save that one for myself just because the reaction is great. But we'll keep this one for the photo decks. Okay, what a beautiful Pokemon. Nice work. Nothing out of the ordinary, okay. Okay. Alright, so we'll keep this one. I wonder what he's looking for then with that task. Next we've got a Comfy, isn't it adorable? Nice work. Sure. Fairly common. The size is better. Ooh, that one rates higher. Mostly because of the size, the Pokemon, and the background. That's cool. Okay. We'll keep this one, then. Sounds good to me. Let's see how we did. How'd we do? How'd we do? How'd we do? How many more points till level three? Mm -hmm. 43,303. Okay. Perseverance is key ingredient of research. You'll have my help every step of the way. That's very nice of you. And you're not condescending at all. A score of 2,000 points or more in a size. Okay. Let's retry. We'll give it one more shot. See if we can figure out what that achievement is supposed to be. Don't look at me. Okay. What if I piss you off? <laughs> it's pissed at us. Oh. Is this the scorchy stuff again? It is. Okay. Yep. I think this will set it up. Oh! It did! It's Emolga! Get it, Emolga! Got it! Alright! Cool! Okay, what else do we have? That's cute. Oh, I know what that is. Oh! Hello! Hello! Have that. Oops. Oh, he grumpy. He grumps. He's a grumpus. Does. I can't. Oh, it's got flowers. Just couldn't see him. Okay. Let's see. Anything new and interesting? Nope. Okay. Dorio. I don't know how much he'll like that one. It's slightly off center. And that one's kind of eh. Out of all of them, though, I like this one the best. 
But this is a three, but it's a crappy three. So we'll go back and do that. But we can do this one, I guess. Okay. She waved. A four star. Definitely doing this one. There we go. That's a new behavior. That's also a super nice photo. We'll re get that one. Let's do this for funsies. Okay, we do. <laughs> I like the sticks. do this one. Okay, Tangrowth again. Do this one. Alright. Last set. See how this goes. Let's do this. Okay. Two star Dodrio. Nice work. Size is better, direction's better, placement's better, other Pokemon 300. Alright, that's clearly a better photo. The placement, honestly, is not too bad. So if that, if the first one was pretty much dead center almost, and that one's just kind of slightly off but bigger, definitely gonna go with this one. Okay. Three star, that's new. Thirty-eight ten. Okay. If that was more on center, he'd love it. It's not bad, and it's orange. Emolga. Next is Emolga. It's a four-star photo. That's new. Perfect timing. Perfect. Timing. It's using Thundershock to cook its food. Perfect timing. You did wonderfully. Thank you. Okay, so he's not fond of the placement, the size is kind of small, and apparently there's other Pokemon in there. I don't know what he's talking about. But the size is what really matters. Okay, cool. That's a good one. Swana. Nice work. Okay. Size is better, placement's better, other Pokemon that makes it a silver. Yep, I agree. I'll go with this guy. Bidoof. Nice work. Seems to be swimming. Fascinating. Okay, so it's still the size. The direction on this one was better. The placement wasn't quite as center, but it gave us another bonus for other Pokemon, but not as much. Interesting. I'm still gonna stick with this one. Mm. Right? Three star Tangrowth. Size, direction. Ooh, three rhinestone stars. Not bad. Like it, I like it. Nice Ordinary. Oh, the size is smaller. Okay, we'll stick with this one. That's fine. Gold over silver. Alright, so how many points did we gain this time? Mm -hmm. 12,000. Okay. Your photos get better and better. I'll make sure your, our research keeps up with your progress. Thanks. Return to camp. I want to see what that mission is. I'm really interested before we call it a night. I want to try and get it. wonder if you have to have the specific Hello. version. Oh, we caught this one. Shockingly well done. Imolga! What did we get? Ooh, we got a sticker. Very cool. 
Ah, I see. So Emolga zaps the fruit with its electricity. What a shocking discovery. That's cool. Okay, cool. So we did manage to figure out that one. Sometimes when it's in gathering natural power from its surroundings. Okay. So it does something. I'm also interested to see what at night has changed. So let's go in one more time. Let's actually go at night. See if we can get the Yawny one. Landscape photos taken by Rita can be seen in the lab. They don't appear to be photos of Lentil. I think it's what that said. Okay, skip that. You don't want the, f the fruit? He does not seem to like me right now. Okay. What else have we got? How about you? Want a fruit? Want a fruit? Have a fruit. I'm not dangerous. I don't bite. Yeah, they're skittish also. Oh, got a photo. Oh, Murkrow, that's right. That's the one I hadn't gotten yet. Oh? Do that again, Caterpie. Got it. Do you like a fruit? Do that tin. Okay. Alright, here's the Torteras. Maybe we have to wake them up. There's the yawn. There we go. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. What else did we got? Marfro. Oh, look how cute! So cute! at all. Huh? Okay. I think I got the yawny yawn. I'm not sure though. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Eh, what the heck, we'll try it. Pincer. Let's do that one. Caterpie. This one was pretty exciting. We got it doing whatever the heck this is. <laughs> Crow. That's a pretty cool one. I'm excited about that one. Torterra. Oh, these sneaky ones are so cute. That's not Torterra. Let's do that one. Sweepy Pichu. I don't like any of those. 
is. I'll go back and save the one for myself later. That's just water. Okay. Yes. I'm being super picky on some of these, but that's okay. Because I know I can this. be better. Okay, let's see if we can top this one. Nice work. Okay. Then the answer is no, we cannot top this one. <laughs> Alright, that's still the winner. Pincer! Nice work. That's awfully strong. Ooh, that one's better. I don't know if I like the photo better, but we'll we'll keep it to rhinestone star stars. Caterpie! A new discovery. Great timing. Ooh, that's a four. Okay. Four rhinestone stars, four thousand thirty-nine points. Look at that. Cool. Murfro, I really like this one. I like this one a lot. Nice work. It's in flight. Gold star. Okay, I'll take that. I'm gonna save that one for myself too. Okay, Torterra. Perfect timing. I'm not sure what that behavior is, to be honest. But it got us another four stars, and it got the request complete. It's probably the yawn is what did it. It's that pose. Cool. That should clear us off to the next part, level two. Yep. Cool. Level right. up. Level up. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. Maybe Score Bunny will actually pay attention to us now? Have I? Oh no. Oh no. Oh wait, no. We're good. Oh, I thought I messed up royally. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, return to camp. Oh, I thought I hadn't been saving them. That would have made me really sad. <laughs> oh my god. That would have made me so sad if I had screwed all those photos up, because there were some good ones in there. It's going around again. Come on. You gotta be ready. What is happening? <laughs> you can do it. Just focus. Huh? Huh? I hear a camera. Well, look who it is. Who is god. it? Todd! Hey, it's Todd! Hey, Professor. It's been a while. It's- look at his camera! I want his camera! Can I have his camera? Wait. Hi, Todd! How, How you been? This is Todd. I know Todd. He's a professional Pokemon photographer. His work takes him all over the world. Can I have your camera? Hi. Are you the one who caught an Illuma Pokemon on your camera? Way to go! That's a big deal. So? Todd, did you bring what I asked you to? Hmm. I sure did. A Thank better you. camera? You're a lifesaver. Now we'll finally be able to set out. What'd you bring? Huh? Is this guy a friend of yours, Professor? Mm -hmm. An old travel companion, to be precise. He's been helping me plan our big survey of Lentil, too. Huh. No kidding. Whoa. Oh, is that the new pod you put together? Reminds me of the good old days. It's literally the same one. Okay. But hey, let me see those Illuma Pokemon photos. Okay. Wow, you've really got an eye for this. Oh, thanks. Hey, Learned from the best. Hi. Back off, kid. Get your own mentor. <sighs> Hi. Who are you? Hmm. Phil. So you're the new teammate, huh? I'm Phil, Todd's number one student. Okay. Okay now. I was his student first. Back in two days ago. Not two days, like a week ago. Easy wow. there, Phil. I'm tempted to take part in this big eco ecological survey myself, but I have another idea. How about I send Phil with you instead? But uh, but yep. but I want to use your camera. Look at the fancy lens. I want that one. 
I'm fine with that if you are, Todd. No, awesome. send Todd! Yes! Awesome! However, you can be my stand-in for now, but don't forget I'll need that badge back eventually. Ah, uh, oh, fine. But if I take a super cool photo, I get to keep the badge? And, uh... So yeah, what's an ecological survey? <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 He'll learn. Don't worry. Hey, look at my hair. I have a cool hairstyle. Okay. Now that you're all here, we can get started. Listen Did we up, just team. start? I'm going to give you a breakdown of the survey. Okay. Now then. This is the Florio Island, our home sweet home. The circled spot right here is our camp. Also. But this survey will take us past these shores, okay? Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. And this will be our first destination. Oh. Hey, Diesel. Why are we starting there? Yep, yep. I've detected a spot there with high energy readings. The Neo One should be able to teleport to. Oh. This island showed up on the travel lodge, right? Mm -hmm. It certainly did. Captain Vince wrote that he saw a glowing Pokemon there too, in fact. Come okay. on. Come on already, let's get the survey thing started. Patience is a Great. virtue. Or apparently anyway. it's not. Enjoy your first century adventure into the wilds of Lenthal. Okay. Oh, okay, we're not going right now. I want to see what we accomplished. And the new one that won't. We got a bunch. We got a bunch, we got a bunch, we got a bunch. Here's a terrific yawn. Whoa, that's one huge yawn. It must have been super tired. I, I hit it with an apple. Sorry. Okay, so we got Munching Murkrow in comfortable and safety of its own territory. Even the wariest Pokemon will let its guard down to eat a tasty fluff fruit. There's a Pokemon that sleeps in this area. Perhaps it would show itself if there were other Pokemon nearby. Oh, that's right. There's that weird mound. Have you ever seen Hoot Hoot's other foot? You should try and get a photo of it. Okay. Wanna call night? There's a Pokemon that's nowhere to be seen most of the time, but at night it sleeps besides Torterra. See if you can find it. Gee, I wonder which one it is. I also like how the photos give you kind of a hint of where you should be looking. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, but I think I am going to stop there for now because I could play this game all night, but I have work in the morning, so we need to uh, take a chill pill.